I'm John Bath. I'm Laura St. Pierre. We live in Saskatoon, and uh, it was a great pleasure to be part of the Bonavista Biennale with our installation, Spectral Garden. Yeah. So we started, uh, we arrived in Newfoundland, and I be began collecting plants. Um, I focused on native plants, uh, and the reason we did that was because of the history of the place. So the fact that um, that was one of the first points of contact with Europeans. Um, and part of our project has to do with memory, history, nostalgia. So we thought we'd stick to na the native plants of the area um, to, uh, to underline that fact about the place. Uh, the plants were uh, collected and then preserved in uh, jars and vases and other containers with alcohol, which is a method that scientists use if they want to preserve the plant three-dimensionally instead of flattening it and drying it out. And the next part of the project, after all the plants were collected, was to set up the installation. So we had two installations. The first one, we put the plants in front of old slide projectors and then um, projected light through them and then through a series of rotating magnifying glasses. Um, as a way to show kind of the ephemerality of memory and just again how do we remember things uh, just remember looking at old slides with your grandparents so this notion that as the images moved around the room they would come in and out of focus um, just like memory fades and comes back and in the other installation we actually got to use one of the old root cellars and which is a very traditional way of just preserving food of, of preservation. So to put the, the plants in there where then we then bottom lit them using solar power, much like growing plants, it, uh, it again just brings back uh, previous methods of preservation. Yeah, um, and we just we loved uh, working with those in, in this, the sites that we were allocated. So. Um, one installation was at the Mock Beggar Fish Plantation, um, the big store on the second uh, floor. And that was an amazing space to use, um, one of the oldest buildings in Newfoundland. So we felt really lucky that we, we got to use that. Um, and then the other, uh, the root cellar, which had been restored, was also a really interesting and something that had been there for a really long time. So, yeah. And it was right by the Puffin viewing site. So yeah, I even, even during setup, hundreds <laughs> of people walked by and just asked, what are you doing in there when yeah. you spend 12 hours setting up in a dark, cold root cellar? 